It's a bike shed. It's not, it's the dirt shed. That's no, yeah. Welcome to this week's Dirt Shed show um, from the very sunny and beautiful Bike Park Wales. In Wales, yeah. Look, me and Blake, we're, we're people. Look at people, we're not getting too close, no. but we're together. Yeah, we are. Isn't it First amazing? time in 14 months we've been face to face like this. Now, I've got a confession to make, Blake. Right, what's that? I've got a confession to uh, make I'm, on the Dirt Shed show yeah. this week. Well, Blake. explain, Martin, because you've explained okay, to me. Okay, this is not the first time I've done the Dirt Shed show this week. <laughs> now, as you know, usually, if you've been watching the Dirt Shed show recently, I, um, I film from my home on a green screen and they beam me into the shed and there I am in the shed. It looks like I'm there next It looks year. like you're there. I did that this week. Yeah. And uh, I finished the show. I recorded it with Rich Payne. Yeah. Great guy. It was a great show. Yeah, I don't doubt it. Uh, I put the ST card down after I'd filmed the show uh, on the bed, because you have filmed from my bedroom. And uh, little Eddie, our little dog. dog Eddie, he ate it. <laughs> <laughs> he ate. So basically, you've done that excuse your dog's eaten my homework. I swear to God, this is true. The dog ate the dirt shed show. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's why luckily, we're here. luckily, this is my first week back riding bikes. I've got the bowhead here, it's just out of camera. It's done there. Um, we've been at Bike Park Wales today, filming, riding some, am oh, an am some amazing trails. You should come here. So, so good. Um, so it gave us a chance to do the dirt shed show, and it works out perfectly, because mm -hmm. what me and Rich were talking about on the dirt shed show was one thing that's special about mountain biking is riding with your friends yep. and how mountain biking makes us all the same, but within that, we can be very unlikely friends because <laughs> mountain biking makes us friends, but you could be a lawyer, yeah. I could be a fireman. Yeah. You know, our backgrounds can be very difficult, different, but this is what Rich said, mountain biking is a great leveler. It, it is, isn't it? turns us all into the same people, yeah. which is important in this day and age, finding our similarities. So I thought, it's probably a perfect example of it. Go Here out we are. with your friends. Yeah, of course. And I've actually got a little bit of a trail challenge. What do you think of this, right? So, I'm Martin. I'm a mountain biker. If I hadn't have been a mountain biker, my profession would have been fireman. Oh. And this is... And this is Blake Sampson. And if I wasn't a professional mountain biker or taken up mountain biking, I would have been an engineer. An engineer. A draftsman. A draftsman. Okay, so right. Unlikely partnership, but can you beat it? I'm going to give away a GMBN bumper pack bundle of merch. Whoa, right? that's a big I'm talking bundle. a hoodie, I'm talking a t shirt, I'm talking a mug, I'm talking some stickers, I'm talking maybe a sweat top, I'm talking maybe a race top. All of it in one bucket, okay? Sent out to you. If you can send in a video of a more unlikely partnership in your mountain biking friendship world than me and Blake, can you beat it? But it's going to be really Probably hard. Not. It's going to be hard, and I'm going to choose the best, most entertaining, surprising. I don't know what it's going to be. For whatever reason, I'm going to pick the best one for next week, and the winner is going to get a massive pack of GMBN goodies. And the way you enter it is in the description. It is in the comments down below. Put yeah. down a comment. Put it all in there, and we'll choose it. No, 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 Blake. You've misunderstood. Oh, I've misunderstood. I want a video. I want to see you. I'm Martin, this is Blake. Introduce me to you and your unlikely uh -huh. partner. I want you to send in a video and I'm going to pick the best one. Maybe the location will be important. Then do it on our uploader then. Put it in there. Yeah, don't listen to him in the comments. Although put anything in the comments you like down below. Right, let's save me from this. Right, you'll save me from this. And head on to the news with Toph and Tom. Let's see what they've got. Breaking news, apart from what Tom Bauer's been mentioning, which is great, but we have a new brand partner on the channel. Orbeo Bicycles have just signed with us, yes! I'm looking forward to getting one of those bikes between my legs and shredding down the trail and showcasing all what they have. Maybe I can get an XC bike, because I haven't got one. I can't wait to get that thing in the dirt, dude. <laughs> yes, that's right, a number of bikes that we're gonna be riding throughout. We are so lucky, we are we just, we're so spoiled. Right, enough of that. Back to Mr. Ashton and myself, outside at Bike Park Wales. Hey everyone, how's it going? I love when companies drop new releases on a Tuesday because it means I can bring them to you hot off of the press. Let's start this week with the new Santa Cruz Blur and Juliana Wilder. The Santa Cruz FSA team have been riding the Blur on the World Cup circuit already, so pre-release shots haven't exactly been hard to find. But now the details are here. 
The main points are that the blur has gone over a degree slacker with room for two water bottles. Longer reaches and shorter stems are now present across the size range and they've also ditched the Santa Cruz staple VPP suspension in favor of a linkage-driven superlight system, making the new frame almost 300 grams lighter than the previous model. Two build options are available for the Blur, either the XC with 100mm of travel front and rear, remote lockout and RockShox suspension, or a TR build with 120mm front, 115 rear, no remotes and Fox suspension. The Wilder is currently only available as the TR kit, but the Santa Cruz Reserve XC wheels are staple across the entire range. Second bit of news fresh out of the inbox today is the new Transition Patrol, which has gone alloy only and mixed wheel. Transition have updated the geometry to keep up with the modern trends and also work well with that 650B rear wheel. It also features a shock flip chip to make further incremental changes. The Patrol has 160mm of travel front and back and is intended for everything from trail rides to bike parks, with build kits featuring RockShox, Fox and Marzocchi. Transition have actually hinted about another bike soon to be released for the enduro market, so keep an eye out for news on that next week. Right, our last bit of breaking news now. Fox have dropped their new transfer SL seat post aimed at the cross-country market. They claim it's 25% lighter than the current transfer post, making it the lightest out there right now. The 27.2 diameter post starts at 327 grams and is available in a 50mm or a 70mm drop. And the 30.9 and 31.6 posts are a bit chunkier at 346 grams and available in 70 or 100mm drops. Red Bull formation has been underway in the Utah desert with riders like Vea Verbeck, Hannah Bergman, Casey Brown and Sam Soriano going big on their handcrafted lines. The build days look intense, but it's all worth it when you see some of the amplitude and tricks being thrown on the mountainside. It looks like a super supportive atmosphere with all of the riders encouraging each other towards bigger hits, which is rad for the progression of the sport. It's never a good time of year to announce injuries, but right before the season kicks off is a tough pill to swallow. During training rides, both Reese Verner and Jack Menzies of the Forbidden Synthesis EWS team picked up breakages. Reese a collarbone and Jack a wrist, which will see them sitting out the first four rounds of the EWS later this month. Teammate Magnus Manson will be flying the flag in Europe on his own. Healing vibes also go out to Kate Courtney, who picked up a broken arm from her crash in Novier Mesto. Fortunately though, that one doesn't look like it's going to impact any training she's currently doing for the Olympics. Right, a few quick items just to round out now. Yolanda Neff and Matthias Fluckiger have secured victories in the Swiss XC National Championships. Neff retains her title from last year, with Fluckiger taking the crown from Scherter by a minute 14. He's clearly on some great form right now. Okay, it's time to go over to Toff for the sickest thing of the week. I'll catch you next time. Cheers, Tom. Hey, everybody. Right, so this week's sickest thing is actually two sickest things. And the reason for that is they're both super sick and I can't decide which was better. Okay, so the first one is BNV's insane 100 foot front flip at Dark Fest on a downhill bike. So, so crazy. It's a front flip, so it means it's completely blind the whole way through. You can't see anything until you land. Just somehow guesses it perfectly. Like truly, truly insane. Right, and the second sickest thing is Martin Ashton riding window. I mean, how crazy was that? The dude hasn't ridden in two years. He comes face to face with jumps that he finds scary and he just sends it anyway. Like, he's not been stupid. He knows what he's doing, it's Martin Ashton. I mean, what I find crazy is like, if I didn't ride for two years, my bike brain would just shrivel up. In fact, I did, I had a knee injury and I had like over a year, probably almost like two years off the bike and like properly and my bike brain just started to like shrivel up and turn into normal person brain and now I get really really scared of stupid things that I used to think was all right so I just find it crazy that he can not ride for two years come face to face with those same fears and just get it done like the dude's a shredder right so that's my sickest things this week it's time to go back to the dirt shed thank you Toff and Tom a stuff Cool, nice time for Hacks and Bodges, Mr. Ashton. Should we sing? No, 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 don't, no, sing. no don't sing. Don't be embarrassed. Yeah. Hacks <laughs> and Bodges! <laughs> Hacks and Bodges! Hacks and Bodges! I can't believe you bought it! I don't know, I bowled it. Yeah, look, I'm going no, red. I'm, I'm going to sing Cosmo Helmet. Ridiculous. <laughs> right. Let me get us going with hacks and bodges. We're starting with this one from Danny. Oh, look um, at now that. check this out, Blake. Mm -hmm. He's basically, I, I think in hacks and bodges this week, we've gone with like simple but effective. Yeah. Um, and you can see he's just got a plank. It's yeah. a plank of wood, basically. Just a plank of wood with a hole drilled through uh, it. And a block attached to that, probably with just a nail. Yeah. And he's suddenly he's got a perfect bike rack. For the back of his car. Back of his car. It's brilliant because it creates like a tripod, if you think, a triangular footprint of yeah. the bike. Can't it's fall over. It's not going to fall over. Brilliant. That is brilliant. brilliant. I like Simple that. Simple but effective. Mm. 
Um, next up, this is very UK, this one. It looks rainy. It's horrible. And look it? at it, but yeah, he's, so he's got a barbecue or a braai. Yeah, yeah. He's basically using a bike work stand mm -hmm. to hold his umbrella and his beer <laughs> like whilst beer holder, yeah. he barbecues his sausages on an upturned garden table. Who's that, Gary? That is Gary um, over in Nottinghamshire, obviously in the UK, because that's yes. what barbecues look like in the UK. Yeah, exactly. Rainy. Yeah, rainy. But still effective. We still do it. We still no, do that's it. good. We like still that. try. Like we like still that. try. That's really good. Um, next up, I like this one a lot. It is from Mark. Oh, um, look at that. Whoa, what's going on there? Okay, so there's a story behind this yeah. one. Mark's dad, okay, had a motorcycle accident um, oh. quite well, 10 years ago it mm -hmm. was. Um, he lost an arm in that accident. Oh, wow. Um, but Mark and his son yeah. um, have been mountain biking um, and Mark's dad was getting a bit jealous. So they set up this bike where he's got two brakes on one side, a grip shift gear Look at so that. that he can change the gear in. Um, and he's getting out mountain biking. Using uh, two brakes, front Using and two rear. brakes, yeah, and they've sorted out the modulation so you can pull one and then come and then come, the other come with the other one. No, that is, that is clever. That's cool, isn't it? That is clever. That is cool. I think, um, I reckon, you picking I, that as a winner? I, I'm thinking I'm going to pick that one as a winner. Even though, like, the, the barbecue, the braai one, that's super cool and stuff. And the tripod one for the back yeah. of his car. Come on, Mark should win it. Mark should win it. 100%. Well done, Mark. You win yourself a GMBN race top, much like this one I am wearing right now. Because uh, I'm out mountain biking, did you know? Um, yeah, so you've won that. Nice one. If you would like to win uh, a GMBM race top, then why don't you send in your hack or your bodge that you've been doing in your garage mm -hmm. um, to the GMBN uploader. And you know why you should? Do you know why you should, Blake? Why that? Well, one, you can win a top, but two, lots of people watch this bit of the show and they get inspired about ways to solve problems in their mountain biking life. So you're really true. helping out everyone else when you do it. It might seem like a simple little hack or bodge to you, but it could be the next thing that gets someone back out on their bike. So mm -hmm. make sure you send it into our uploader. Thank you very much for doing that. Right, it's time. Do you like EWS? Do you like I Enjoy? love EWS. Do you, do yeah, you? yeah. Well, why don't you listen to this from Rick McLaughlin? Hello, Dirt Shed Show. How's it going, Rick from the EWS here? Look, it's June and that means it is almost time for us to go racing. So close, in fact, that I'm actually coming to you almost live from inside my own car as I'm late to go meet Ruri to talk about getting bikes into a van, to drive to the Met EWS Val de Fassa Trentino. Exciting stuff. Listen, big race to update you on the Epic Hope PMBA Enduro down in Graithwaite in the Lake District at the weekend, won by none other than Bex Barona and Greg Callahan, two EWS pro team riders taking the win there. Callahan just beating home Keelan Grant, so a rider that we really tipped to uh, be back on form this season. The two of them going really, really well down there. Great, uh, great event by all accounts. Some good weather. Everyone enjoyed themselves. So it's great to see racing getting back underway properly in 2021. Another little story there. We have hotly tipped uh, Polly Henderson um, from the Scottish Borders this season to do quite well. Also doing very, very well down there. Emily Carrick Anderson. Now she is the daughter of none other than British mountain bike legend Crawford Carrick Anderson, another Borders resident, so maybe one to put on your radar. Listen, I've got to go. Rory's going to be angry, and you don't want to mess with a man that size when he's angry. I'll check back in next week. See you then. Oh, EWS. News yes. is good. I can't, I can't wait for it all oh, kick off mine. It's going to be so cool. Can't wait so off. So cool. But I'm going to throw you guys to our shop because uh, we've got some new merch, not mine, because it's the new classic. Oh, yeah. Lovely. How can classic be new? But it is. We've got new black stuff and we've got a nice new colour, khaki. Oh, yeah. My oh, favourite. I wonder who chose that. I don't know. I yeah, quite I like that. You know, olive drabs, my favourite. Yeah, and we've got yeah. these kind of things you can buy this tech tee, long sleeve, short sleeve, short socks. I wear that all the time. I wear this. Yeah. It's yeah. my favourite. But head over to the shop again, like Hacks and Bodges. If you go to the shop and support the channel, it helps us make the videos um, that obviously are keeping lots of people inspired to get on their bikes yeah. because that's what we do it for. Um, and I'll tell you something else you can do. I didn't know this, but I was reading about YouTube, right? Okay. Oh, yeah. If you hit the like button, it's more likely that other people will get to see this video if they're in the mountain bikes. There you go. So hit the likes while you're there, mm -hmm. while you're on your way to the shop. There, that's all my plug. Or on plug. the school bus to That's school. all my plug in there. Or in your um, lesson. Yeah, time for caption contest. Oh. Now, you Ca featured in the caption contest photo last week. I did, yeah. Um, have you seen it? 
Yeah, I'm right, like, there, yeah. yeah. Okay, so let me I just read it. out the first one here. It's from Roy Ludford, mm -hmm. and he says, that feeling when Blake announces he's forgotten the lube. <laughs> Look at his face. I know. Yeah, thank God. Thank God. Yeah, thank God. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so <laughs> that, that one. So the <laughs> next two are somewhat derogatory to you and Rich, and okay. I think I'm supporting these comments. Right, okay. Okay, Joran Fockelman, he says, when Blake managed to convince you to wear the pink helmet, Oh, yeah, because we're wearing pinky pink. Pinky. Yeah, I mean, look at it. It's gorgeous, isn't I it? Mean, look at it. My pink really? helmet. Yeah. Really? Yeah, it's a bit, yeah. Look, like, now looking at me wearing it, do you still think it's a good idea? You look even hotter. <laughs> I think... Oh, I'm just not sure about that. The orange one is fire. That pink one... I wonder why the orange one like is fire. Looks a little bit like the top of a penis. I, I wonder why the orange one is fire, because I think you love orange more so than anyone else on the planet, Martin. I do like orange, but orange is fire, we all know that. Our next caption is with, um, probably bleep that about, um, is from Will Lang, and he says, sure, Blake, Pepto-Bismol helmet, sickest thing of the week. Because that does look, that's literally Pepto-Bismol colour. It is, yeah. Isn't it? I love it. Do you not think that looks like a p I mean, like, look, if you look at it from there, like, you imagine, like, the sh**. You know what I mean? <laughs> looks like a you're wearing like a on your you, head. No, I think you're jealous <laughs> of the colour of my helmet. You just feel like... Beep, 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 I, think beep, beep. I think you're just jealous of the colour of my helmet. I just think it looks like from the back when I'm following you, I'm like... Oh. It looks like he's got a... It's not got a knob on his head. No, it's not. Jealous. So, Blake, you've got to pick your favourite one of those comments. I'm presuming it's probably the first one, because that's not slagging off your helmet. Yeah, I think that. Well, there's okay. nothing wrong with my helmet. Roy Ludford, you are this week's winner. You get yourself a GMBN mug. Well done. Here's this week's photo. Oh, check that check out. Check that out. Um, give us a caption for that, if you mm -hmm. can, in the comment section down below. If you do, you could be winning yourself a mug next week, much like this one. Or be like a mug, like this one. Coming up on the channel this week, we've got some incredible stuff to feast your eyes on. Take a look at this. If you're struggling with bunny hopping, uh, it's probably that you're just not quite getting one bit of it right. So here are the most common bunny hop mistakes and how to fix them. Time for the bike vault. Oh, it's my favourite bit, Martin. Lovely. And I'll there's so what, many bikes, yeah. Some, so many. Oh, you were going to say it. Look at bikes. that one there. Look at this one down here. Yeah. Super nice, super nice, super nice. So nice, super I saw nice. I lovely orange earlier on that I really liked. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to start the actual bike vault this week with Daniel's Boardman. Oh, I do like a good um, Boardman. Yeah, this is nice. a, a two shots, actually. Look, yeah, look at that. Nice yeah, 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 it's very nice. Um, I nice. think this one sets the mood. Mm -hmm. This one's about, this is the detail, what we're talking about. Yeah. I like it, I like the positioning. I, I think it's a nice, it's a nice start. Yeah, it's a nice, nice start. Hey, hey, we haven't got a bell. Okay. All right, next up, Dick we have got Travis's oh. Schwinn accent. Look at that bit of graffiti Look at that background. graffiti. That ghostly shape looks like he's about to step onto the bike. Don't, what's that say? Don't something okay back? Uh, don't look back. Oh, that's very true. Uh, yeah. Another nice? I think it's nice. another nice. Yeah, nice. Nice frame yeah, of very the nice. shot. I, I like, like the graffiti, that's cool. Uh, urban. Oh, this is. Oh, Common Cell Clash. Oh, yeah, 2021. Is... How did he get his hands on one of them already? Yeah, I don't know. It's not been easy. That is mm. from Stuart in Richmond, Virginia. Oh, man. Very nice composition. I think that's a very nice, super nice for me. It's a very nice, super nice. It's a very nice, super nice. Is that a new level? It's, just, it's, it's a, a very nice, super nice. It's a very nice, super nice. Um, next up, we have got Andrew's oh, no. Foxy. Who's that? No. Um, Mondraker. Mondraker. I would say... Healthy Evo. It's nice. Yeah. A nice? Yeah. Oh, okay. Nice. Sorry, Andrew. I thought you were going to get more of that. Yeah. 
Um, next up, we have got Ooh, what's that? Baxter's Rocky Mountain. Rocky Mountain. Love this colourway on this I bike. I do like why because it's orange. Orange and khaki. This is our bike. Oh, this super is Ryan nice. and Blake's bike. Super nice. This is super nice. Very nice. Next up, we've got oh no, oh, trans stupid tan. You know what? I like it, but it's against us. It's against this garden fence, Martin, which yeah, should be on the trail. Yeah, and it's got stupid tan walls on it. No, it's tan walls, tan walls. Transition Sentinel with tan walls. Matt behind the camera well, loves So tan. you and Matt say they're good, and that's why we should believe well, they're good. It was two against one. Epitome of fashion. There you go. Epitome of fashion, he just called himself. Honestly. That's incredible. Yeah, nice. It's nice. It's nice. Nice, all right. It's nice. All right. Come off it. Next up, Ooh. we've got David Santa Cruz Chameleon. Chame I love a hardtail. And a oh, Santa Cruz yeah. Chameleon, you know. Mm -hmm. This is in Glenorchy, MTV Park. Get, get Tasmania. Do you know what? I think that's get, a super nice one. around the world today, aren't we? Let's give that a super nice. Yeah. Super nice, very nice. Uh, next up, we've got Ross Rocks. Crow Molly Frame Kona. No, I like Kona Lava Dome. No, I like that. Hey, you know what I like about this? Look, he's kind of like. No, look at the. Oh yeah, I do like the flower actually. No, Fox glove. Uh, but I really like how he's. It's almost like he's put plus tires on it. Yeah, it is. It's sort of outdated. Yeah, it's nice. Although when I did the the dirt shed show previously, I remember seeing this now. Yeah. And Rich pointed out that he probably wouldn't have been able to get a plus tire in that bike, so it's probably just not a plus tire. No, I'm probably just not. Imagine it's it. It's nice. Um, Super nice fox glove. It's, so what it was a nice on that bike. Yeah. What the, oh, what is stupid that? tan walls again. No, no. See, no, I like that. What tan? What, what is that? That looks like an old. Makes Fiat everybody look old. Andrew's 2020 Norco Optic. Um, That's not old. He's been downgraded to 2010 now because of the tan walls. But <laughs> it's a very nice looking bike. I love the Volkswagen Beetle in the background. Yeah. That's very cool. I think that's a super nice. Uh, it's a super nice, very nice. Super nice. nice. That's a Beetle really. No, it's not. <gasps> and lastly, we have got Tom's Ribble. Uh, I this like is a Ribble. This is a serious hardtail. Hard Look, Look at, at that. the geometry on that. That's. Really slack, isn't it? He must be a massive guy, like Just seven foot. Just because I want to say it again, that's fine. Can that's, I get away with that? Yeah, that I, get, I don't be, know oh, if I'm too old to say things. Super like nice. <laughs> this is a super nice. Great bike bolt. Great bike bolt this week. Oh, Thank lovely. you very much for sending in your bikes. Is your bike at home a bike bolt? Super nice. Well, is it? Is Have it? You, uh, do you dare send it in and find out? I would. The uploader, that's what it's there for. Bingers, thank you so oh, much so for good. helping me. It's so good to be with you. Well, it's great to be with me, but I'm more grateful that we managed to get a dirt shed show done because Eddie, the little... Little doggy. Yeah, little dog, he's too cute for his own good. <laughs> um, yeah, so thanks for helping me get that sorted. We're going to go and ride some man. Please, now. man. Let's I go think ride. the trails are calling. Um, you got a tow rope. I've got a tow rope, so I'm going to get you up the top. I'm the uplift. We're going to go and ride. You guys chill. See you out on the trails. Um, and if we don't see you out on the trails, we'll see you here next week on the Dirt Show Show. See ya.